Hi, welcome to the tennisratings.co.uk tennis trading videos. Today I'm going to look at a couple of matches. Uh, only one is on the uh, main screen right now, which is the um, match ATP Moscow at half, half past one start UK time between Philip Kohlschreiber and Fabio Fanini. And then I'm going to also bring over some data as well, which is going to look at the final of the Santiago Challenger tonight um, between Maximo Gonzalez and uh, Rogerio Ducho da Silva. Um, starting at around 8pm UK time. Um, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below this video. It will let you know when I've made new content and um, you'll be able to get the, the information as soon as it's released. Um, right, so moving on to the match in Moscow, we can see that the Cole Schreiber is the very marginal favourite between the two players at 1.93 as opposed to, to, to Bound 2 currently um, with Pinnacle. Um, I made model price slightly in Cole Schreiber's favour, but but nothing really huge. Um, despite the fact that he actually has a marginally lower projected hold than Fanini, uh, largely down to the 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 project, uh, head to head uh, record between the two players, which is in uh, Cole Schreiber's favour quite significantly. Um, we can see that Fanini um, has a more of a return orientated dynamic with with a high high break percentage but and a low service hold whereas Carl Schreiber was kind of more towards the sort of average player uh, and, and again that contributes to the projected hold percentage as, as well as as the fact that Moscow courts are quite slow um angles for this match well with projected holds quite low we can look at opposing servers or opposing players leading and a couple of spots that I like is is laying laying Cole Schreiber uh, as the match gets later, because Fanini gets much stronger as matches progress uh, when it comes to fighting back from from deficits, and it almost seems like he has to have his back against the wall and really really be on the verge of losing before he before he starts playing his best tennis and start, starts giving his best efforts. And a lot of people find it quite hard to to peg Fanini and you know, call him all sorts of names on social media. But actually, if you look at his, his recovery stats, which I'll bring over now, they're, they're quite, it's, quite, it's quite obvious where, where his strengths and weaknesses lie. So we can see here that in the first set, his recovery is like kind of average at 30 34.9%. Um, he's really bad at uh, uh, getting the first break in, in the second set when he loses the first set. So he frequently falls uh, falls back to a set and break down. Uh, so definitely backing him if he loses the first set immediately at the start of the second set probably is not the best play because you know, more than, more more likely than not he'll go further behind before he starts fighting back. So so laying him, uh, sorry, laying his opponent when he's... Uh, uh, set and, uh, when Fanini's set and break down is, is is a pretty decent strategy, and you can see it here in the final set, he actually gets really really strong and he recovers a break the first breakdown in the final set seventy five percent of the time in the last couple of years. So overall, he's he's actually a pretty decent player at recovery, but you have to know how to treat him early in the match. No, don't don't get involved with 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 him so much unless he's playing against a really really bad opponent or someone who's really vulnerable front runner. But but on, on the whole, later the later you get in the match, the more the more you might want to uh, look at look at getting on side with, with Fabio Fanini. Now if we look at the opponent today, Cole Schreiber, I'm just gonna bring up his data as well from the lead loss recovery spreadsheets that are available by the website tennisratings.co.uk. Um we can see that Cole Schreiber kind of has like the reverse dynamic of, of Fanini. Whereby he he's he's better at the, at the start of a match. He's he's good when he loses the first set, starting the second set well, um, but he's awful in the final set. And he has uh, in in best of three set matches, he's yet to recover a the first breakdown in the final set for all the matches I can get point to point data on since July two thousand and fourteen. So. Given the fact that Cole Schreiber's recently recovered from injury and and may not be quite as 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 fit as as Fanini right now, um, Fanini's played a lot of matches, but he's shown previously in in, in previous years that that playing back to back to back tournaments with success isn't really a major issue for him, and as we, and that's not surprising. Basically, 
from, yeah, from the lead loss recovery data showing how how good he is later on in matches. So he, he looks to be a player who is who is has a high level of fitness generally. So with with a combined score getting higher on Cole, on Cole Schreiber when um, the match gets longer, and the fact that the, the projected holds are quite low. One area that I do like looking at for this match is to, to lay, lay Cole Schreiber uh, in a couple of spots. Um, serving for the match, set and break up, and serving for the match in the final set seems pretty mandatory for opposing Cole Schreiber. And I also like laying Cole Schreiber break up in the final set in this match. Um, they look to be the best angles for the, for this particular particular match, and uh, that, that's something that I recommend. If we move this data across, and I'll bring over today's uh, Santiago Challenger spreadsheet, uh, which is available via the, the Challenger spreadsheet subscription on tennisracings.co.uk. Um, already this morning, we've we've had two wins in Ningbo, two out of two. Uh, Maria, as a really heavy underdog, got got a win in the second set of our retirement. Okay, uh, it was against John Milner. I can't, I can't remember. I was, I was asleep at the time, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, John Milman, 6-2, 4-3 in the final set, the second set, sorry. And we also had uh, Yen Sun Lu, uh, Victor, Victor in the, the final set against Han Chung. So here we can see that there's not there's not much difference in the the, the, the best price uh, and the model price, my, my model price, maybe slightly in favour of, of Maximo Gonzalez. Um, but Gonzalez had an MTO last night in, in, his, in his semi-final win. And I'm not convinced how fit fit he'll be for the match. Uh, it could be nothing, might be something, but uh, he's got a low projected hold for this match, 66.1. And if we look at the ratio uh, generated uh, combined scores for for the challenger players, which because I, because I don't have you know, individual data on challenger players, we can see that his combined score is 91.17 compared to slightly lower 85.8 for De Silva, which is um, both of those figures are really high, and it, it makes Maximo Gonzalez in particular look like a really vulnerable frontliner. So what 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 I think I want to look at, particularly for this match, is opposing Gonzalez when he's a break up in the match, and particularly later on in the match, uh, serving for serving for sets, matches, uh, etc. Uh, low prices in the second uh, set and break up, or, or in the final set when he's leading as well. So, so there's there's a lot of angles there. I think towards opposing opposing uh, Gonzalez in play in this match, um, and like I said, with his questionable fitness, that also so adds adds something to the equation because the the model pricing didn't bring in didn't factor in any fitness uh, adjustments whatsoever. So, so. I think it's pretty reasonable to to oppose Gonzalez, especially in the latter stages of this match. So yeah, um, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any questions, drop me an email, tennistrades at gmail.com. Uh, tweet me at tennis ratings. Always open to suggestions for for matches uh, for, the, for every day for the video. And this particular match in Challenger Santiago was was suggested by by someone today on, on Twitter. So. Um, Many thanks for that. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to get updated with the latest videos from Tennis Ratings. And, uh, good luck in the markets today.